I like how you can lock onto enemies by just pressing a button. It actually makes it a lot- it makes some of these fights a lot easier. This level is one of the ones that's actually the most prone to crashing in the non-patched versions. You want to be careful standing on these tracks because minecarts will come by and like kill you. I hope the goblins don't find me starting all their contraptions. <laughs> all right, but before we go all the way this way. I'm gonna jump down here. We have to be really careful because this is a minecart track. And every once in a while a minecart will come across. Oops. Come on. Get up there, Bilbo. Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins, he's only three feet tall. Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins, the bravest little hobbit of them all. Ugh! They make this so finicky here. I love these giant white gems. They give you a huge boost in your, um, courage meter. Go up here first. Now there isn't actually a boss fight in this level, but there will be a mini boss that we'll have to fight. There is a mini boss because after we get the wart stone for the guard, he'll actually break his promise. He won't let us through, he'll just attack us and we have to fight him. And he's fought like a regular enemy, but he takes longer to fight than most of the others do, so he's considered a mini boss by most of the people who have played the game. I hate going on there because I'm just afraid that a minecart will come through. Just get rid of his shield.
All right. Dim lift. Like, who came up with that? What a lame name. Who came up with that? If you understand that reference, then I congratulate you. If you know what that quote is from, the what a lame name. Who came up with that? This level just goes on and on. I mean, I don't hate this level. This, this is actually a level I quite enjoy. But, it can get kind of annoying after a while. There's also the fact that none of this even happened in the book. This has nothing to do with anything that happened in the book, other than Bilbo being lost in the goblin caves. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Let's try that again. Time to take a ride. Let's wait for this one. Because I couldn't jump on that quick enough because this game hates me. I'm gonna get out the sword. Because when you have the sword, you can watch like Bilbo like flip it up in the air when he's bored. Like that. This game doesn't obey the laws of physics at all. Alright. Yeah, these parts are really boring. I'm gonna jump up here, save, and then here's that lever we needed. To fix the I need to fix that lift. the broken lift, and luckily we don't have to go all the way back because there's a chain there, so they were nice enough to give us a way back. Look at that! We can get across. This game does have mercy on us sometimes. Thank goodness. We're gonna be encountering some goblins down here, so I'm gonna get my sword ready. Two birds with one stone. Or one sword, as it may be. Gather up these mushrooms. And I'm gonna go over here and save. Now I gotta ride the lift. 